like to do. Hey everybody, Zanna here. I know it's been a while since I put a video out. Um, bit of an update and talking about stuff. First big thing, new hair. Like the hair? <sighs> yeah, I got so long I got tired of it, so I got it all chopped off this past weekend. So, it's all gone. Look. It's all gone. No more hair. Well, I got hair. It's just, most of it's gone. Um, yeah, I, I'm absolutely loving this hair. I've actually got a reason to do stuff to it. Because it's so cute. I love my hair. Okay. Anyway. It's not the only reason I'm not here to talk to you guys. Um... Once I get off my lazy butt, um, my birthday was this past month. It was like over 10 days ago. Uh, it was on the 18th, so that was less than 10 days. Less than 10 days ago. No, it was more than 10 days ago. It was like 13 days ago. So yeah, I got something nice for my birthday. I asked for money to get this. I didn't actually ask for this, but I got. I actually got video editing software for my birthday, so once I get off my lazy butt, I'm going to install this on my computer and actually learn how to use it. So, there will be... What the heck kind of crap is on my desk? I'm actually going to learn how to use it, so I can actually put out some better quality stuff. With, like, actual visual effects and stuff. Ooh, visual effects. So, yeah, and actually integrated music and stuff like that. So, it's all going to be all nice and fancy now once I actually get off my lazy butt and learn how to use it. So, yeah. Yeah, today it's going to be all nice and really neat. I'm sorry I'm going to be messing with my hair. Um, more than usual. So, yeah, it, all, it also came with 3D glasses. So, yeah, I can make 3D movies that you guys won't be able to watch. Big useless piece of crap. Um, also, what else happened? Um, not much luck on the job front. Yeah, so my boss has until the 30th to place me somewhere else. Although, this freaking... I'm the lead on this big project going on at work, and my boss doesn't want to get rid of me until the project's done, so it doesn't look like the project is going to be done until the end of the month. But my boss has the end of the month to get rid of me. I, I don't know. It's... I've been so stressed out. You have no idea. I've been so tired and stressed out. Every single time I go to work and then come home from work, I'm like a completely different person. I'm just like... I just want to go to my room and just sleep all day, the rest of the day. Which I can't do now, because school's starting up next week, on the 4th. So, yay. Luckily, it's all online classes, so it'll be easy-peasy. Um... Also, for my birthday, I got concert tickets for my birthday. Yay! Which I went to see the concert last night, which was my favorite band. Band? Group. Duo. Two. It's two people. And their band. Big and Rich. I bought this at the concert. Oh, lighting change. Yeah, this is my favorite country duo of all time. Um, they started releasing music back in 2003, 2004, so that's about the time I started going into high school. There's still icky stuff on the, on the package. Get off the stupid tape. Get off my finger. There we go. Mm, stupid I hate the tape they put on the side of the, of the CD case. But yeah, anyway, this is their greatest hits, and they've only had like two, three CDs out so far. Yeah, anyway, um, I love this, I love this duo. I was going to have music playing, but I don't have my software up yet, and I was trying to make it come through my speakers, but it just sounded like crap, so I decided not to do it. Um, how did I, how do I describe them? If you haven't heard their music, I would recommend you do it, because... Even if you don't like country, you probably would like them. 
because there's such a mix of country and rock and roll that I think even people who don't like country would like them. Even though they're very much country people. Um, they've got a very much, their style of music has a very much of I'll live my life the way it rolls with a very heavy edge to it. The very rock and roll edge to it. And their music speaks to me in a very special... There's more tape on this freaking thing. Get off my CD case. No! Freaking tape. Everywhere. It's just all over the place. Get off my body. There's more tape everywhere. It's just... It's music that speaks to me as a fan of country music. And about the time they started releasing music was about the time I actually started really getting into country music. So I guess I guess you can I can thank them for my complete integration into country music. And the reason I am the kind of country fan that I am. I like the more heavy-edged, the more energetic type of country music, which is what they're which is what they're it's more their style, the more energetic the more heavy-edged, the more I don't give a damn what you think about me kind of stuff. And that, that's very much the kind of person I am when it comes to, you know, when it comes to what other, when it comes to other people and their thoughts of me. Especially growing up and in high school. You know, I was mainly picked on throughout high school because uh, because I'm heavy set and things like that, and I hung out with nerds, anime fans, and things like that, and we were always made fun of by the popular kids. So I was always of that mindset. You know, I don't care what you think about me. Just I I don't I don't care. It was about the same time that these guys came out. So, when their first CD came out, uh, "Horse of a Different Color," I think is the song is the CD. Me and my best friend had that CD on heavy rotation every single day. So yeah, that's probably the only the only music related. This is probably the only music related thing that you're gonna have from me. Because I don't really, I don't really talk about music all that much. It's mainly going to be stuff about games and movies and anime and books from me. Big and Rich is the mainly the thing, the mainly big music thing that I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> and if you have the opportunity to go and see a Big and Rich concert, go, go see them. Cause it, it's an experience. This is the second concert I've ever been to. The first one was when they were at the mu the Marine Museum down near where I live. So they were my first and my second, and both were amazing. The first one was a bit un underwhelming. One, because I went with my stepfather, which is embarrassing. Mainly because I can't rock out when my stepfather's standing right next to me. It's kind of like, what am I supposed to do? That and I was in high school, so I was a bit awkward. And two, my direct TV is blinking at me. Is it turn off? Turn off. Turn off. All right, turn. What the hell? It's not turning off. Don't search for a signal. I want you to turn off. Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it on. I was talking about something. And this one, the second time, this one, this concert, the last night's concert was even better, cause. I was in section off, off. All right, I'm just gonna leave it on. This concert was even better because I was in the center, the center row of seats. In the eighth row, center section, eighth row, with like the perfect view of the stage. It was amazing. I had the perfect seats. 
But not the perfect, perfect seats. The perfect, perfect seats would have been, like, right up in their faces. But no. I still could, like, see them. It was still amazing. I could still see Big and Rich, just right... Big Kenny and John Rich, just right there. It was so cool. It was, it was still, it was, just, ah, just, ah, ah, it was still so cool. If you, if you have the chance to go see a Big and Rich concert, go see them. Please, for the love of God, go see them, because there's, there's, there's so much energy in their, in their stuff, in their, in their concerts. There's, they put so much energy in their live performances. It's amazing. I had one drunk woman tell me that one other person's Luke Bryan's concert was better than theirs. And I was like, shut up. Ain't nobody's concert's going to be better than this one. I mean, for the love of God. Personal preference, I know. But, come on. Their, their music speaks to me on a personal level. It speaks to my soul, man. When you when you find that band or that group or that duo or that person whose music just speaks to you on a speaks to your soul or speaks to you on a personal level their concert's going to be the best concert you'll ever see. There's no argument. I mean, you can argue with the person back and forth, but the argument's going to go on for hours. So, I wanted to start an argument, but I did, I was too, I was high as a kite, I wasn't going to, I was not literally high as a kite, I mean, I don't do drugs or anything, but, you know, I was, I was eight rows, I was eight rows away from big and rich, and I was like, ah. I was, I was, I was out there, I don't drink either, so I was, I was, I was sober, and I was clear-minded, but I was, uh, I was out there. Never mind. <laughs> uh, oh, otherwise. Second concert I've ever been to. It's probably going to be a third if they do another one down here. Hopefully they come down to Southern Maryland again. I hope. I hope, I hope. I hope. <laughs> Big and Rich, if you're watching, please come down to the Maryland again. I love you guys. You're so fun. Uh, I don't know what kind of accent that was. I try not to do accents because they're just so stupid when I do them. They don't sound right. They just sound dumb and fake. Oh, yeah. I started... Uh, I think I mentioned before on one of my... Uh, other videos that I that I play Dungeons and Dragons. I still do. <laughs> I love playing Dungeons and Dragons. It's so much fun. Um, my birthday. Every year on my birthday, I start thinking back to you know where I've been and you know things that I've that I've seen, things that I've done, and things like that. You know, events that I've seen, events that I've been through. Things like that. And, you know, if things had gone differently, what would I be doing? Things like that. I always think about stuff like that on my birthday or around my birthday. Some stupid stuff like that. I always do it. Always, always, always. Every single year. I always try to think back to, you know, what was my first anime? What was my first video game? What was my first, what was the first book I could ever, I could ever think of that I really, really got into? And the answers are mainly the same every year. Mainly the same. You know, what was, what was the first, an, the first real, you know, episodic anime, uh, episode to episode anime that I ever really got into? that I knew was an anime. That I knew was an anime. So that 
that rules Pokemon out, that rules Yu-Gi-Oh out, that rules Digimon out, because those three I watched when I was a kid, and at the time I didn't know those were anime. So what was the first anime I ever saw that I absolutely 100% knew was anime? And the answer, well, the answer varies at first, because I'm thinking, well, maybe it was this, but no, I was watching this way before I was watching that. So, my first answer was, my answer eventually became, excuse me, Dragon Ball Z, which I was watching at the age of seven? Kind of inappropriate? Mainly because, I guess it was seven. Was it seven? Something like that. Mainly because I remember vividly, you know, sort of vividly, sitting next to my big brother, who, my brother is seven years older than me, so he was about 14, around 14 at the time. So he was just getting into high school. So he was around 14 at the time. In the living room watching The Dead Zone, the first Dragon Ball Z movie. So I don't know, my memory of, my memory past seven years old is really, if it's there, it's fuzzy and kind of grayscale. And if it's not, it's not. So I have, I have very, very, I have an extremely bad memory of everything, everything before I was seven years old. And even, even after I was seven, I have very fuzzy memories. Could, uh, I don't really want to get into it over the internet, but it was a very, very hard time in my life around that time. So I have very fuzzy memories. But this I do remember is sitting next to my brother in the living room on our old freaking TV set watching a VHS tape of which he recorded The Dead Zone, the first Dragon Ball Z movie sitting there watching the whole way through it watching watching it with him and then i guess from that point on i caught every episode i could with him and then just watched you know whatever episodes he had recorded on our vhs player and that that that's my first anime the first anime that i knew was anime cuz he told me it was anime and he told me what anime it was so it was the first anime that i knew was anime that I ever watched. That got that I guess got me into anime in the first place. That made me want to watch more anime. And from there it was Inuyasha and then Yu Yu Hakusho and Trigun and Cowboy Bebop, the Greats. Yu Yu Hakusho, Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, the Greats, which I own. Trying to own. In Yu Yu Hakusho's case, I st I'm still missing volume four. Brick. <sighs> I haven't even seen all of season four. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah. And then it just kinda of, it's just kinda of grown from there. I can I can color change light change. Um I can sort of, I can sort of scout out my progression of my upward progression of anime choices from there. Uh but I could say upward progression is my tastes have improved. I'd say greatly in you in in Yasha's perspective because that anime upon upon further thought wasn't isn't very good. So yeah, I've watched some crap in in my day, um, which isn't very long actually. No, oh, anyway, the first book I ever read is a pretty generic answer. Although, is it? Now that I think about it, yeah, it's a pretty generic answer. Because until I was like 12 years old, I wasn't really that big into reading at, at all. Like, really at all. And I had a video up on my site, I might still, of like, just a still shot of my, of my bookshelf. Bookshelves. It's grown since then, a smidge. I've gotten rid of some stuff and gotten some new stuff of my collection of books and manga. Manga's the but I have a frick ton of books. Um of the first books I've ever read. But like I was saying, the first book I ever read is a very generic answer. It is of course a Harry Potter book. 
um, the second one, actually. I didn't actually get to read the first one until the Christmas after I read the second one. Because, well, let me see if I can remember the timeline correctly. Because I got the second book, I read the second book, and then the second movie was coming out, so I wanted to read the first book. So I got the first book for Christmas. So I watched the... Oh, wait, what was... Wait, I'm trying to remember. Blah, blah, blah. I got the second book. I read the second book. The second movie was coming out. So I watched the second movie, got the first book for Christmas, and then got the second movie for Christmas. <laughs> it's a confusing mess. My history with Harry... My, my, my starting history with Harry Potter is very confusing. It's a confusing freaking mess. So it, it, it's ordered as second book... First movie, first book, second movie. And then it just gets generic from there, where I just continue on with the regular order of books. And then the regular order of movies. Which I have all the movies, and I have all the books, including the original copy of the second book, The Chamber of Secrets. I still have it, I think. Yes, I do. I still have it. Because it's, it's that weird it's it's the it's that weird paperback cover that came out I like it it's all tore up because I got it at a book swap along with um the first Artemis Fowl book and paperback which that's another series that I that I freaking love that ended this year I started them both around the same time but I didn't actually pick up Artemis Fowl seriously until I was in high school. Because I found it a B and a half to get through the first book. Because the first chapter is easy to get through, but then the second chapter like drags so freaking long. And it's just really hard to get through. The second chapter drags like a B and a half. I'm sorry if I just made the camera shake. Jam my knee against the desk. It hurt a little bit. I love the Artemis Fowl series, and I was sad to see it end. I like the I like the last book. That's a good series. I might review it at some point. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that that series didn't get enough publicity as it should have because it's a good series. All right, anyway, um, what was the other one? First game I ever played. That's a fairly easy one to pick out because my household as far back as I can remember had two consoles I think we had our um, we had a PlayStation 1 I think it was my brother's PlayStation 1 and then he also had a Nintendo 64 that he had to share with me because because I also wanted to play on it. Um, so I wasn't allowed to play on the PlayStation. But I could play on the Nintendo 64. So there was one game on the Nintendo... Two games on the Nintendo 64 that I could play. We had Mission Impossible for the Nintendo 64, but it was, it was just way over my head, so I could I could not even change. But I just couldn't... Un I couldn't play it. Because it was just, woo! I just, I, I had no, I had no clue. I tried to play it when I was older, and I had no clue. Um, I tried to put the gum on the wall to blow the wall up, and I just, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, two. It was, um, it was Super Mario sixty four. Which is an excellent game. I absolutely love that game. I was so pissed at my brother when he gave me his Nintendo 64 and told me that he would lost Mario 64. I was so freaking mad. I was so mad that he'd lost it. The one, two, the one game that I wanted from that system and he'd lost it. I was so mad. He gave it to me for Christmas before he moved away. I was so mad. And then the other game was Harvest Moon 64. 
which I was really good at that game. I got, like, boss good at that game. Although it's hard not to be good at Harvest Moon. I actually have the, the Game Boy Color version because someone I went to high school with didn't want it. So I was like, oh, I play Harvest Moon. Give me that. <sighs> Why did I do that? Oh, no. Anyway, I'm blabbering on for about 25 minutes. It's been a while since I've talked to you guys, so why not? It's been a while. I actually did get a couple games for my birthday. I got The Witcher 2 for the Xbox 360, because if I get a game, it's mainly for the Xbox 360, so I can... <laughs> that I would not be, play be playing in front of you guys. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, no. <laughs> Those boobies popped up on screen, and I was like... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the first one didn't go that far. I was shocked. The other one I got. Oh, I was trying to blush over the freaking. over the freaking boobies. I had never seen boobies in an actual gate. In, in, in a freaking. I knew there were boobies in games. i just never seen it before. Believe it or not, that's the first time I've ever seen boobies in games. Like, actual boobies in games. A booby. Like, two boobies. I knew there were boobies in games. i just never seen them before. Like, fully rendered. What? Have you seen a fully rendered booby in a game? I bet you have. This girl? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Getting away from the boobies for a moment. A very long moment. Anyway. And the other game that I got was uh, the Silent Hill Collection, which also came out for the Xbox 360. And the PlayStation 3, I think. That one I was overjoyed for because I absolutely love Silent Hill you have no clue I absolutely love Silent Hill I haven't played the first one because I don't have a PlayStation and the first one's kinda hard to come by um, I do have the second one and the third one for the PlayStation but I don't have a PlayStation I kinda bought them so I could play them on um, Silent's PlayStation and uh, he lives at a different house <laughs> So, my plan there is kind of flopped. <sighs> I did play the second one all the way through at his house once, though. That was fun. Having to play it when his little brother wasn't around, because his little brother is about eight years younger than him. That was fun. And awkward. <sighs> so, yeah. Now I have it for the Xbox 360, so I can play it over here at any time I want with better graphics. Yay! So, yeah, that makes me happy. Is that it? I think that's it. My nice shiny blue controller is broken. Or is breaking, so I have to get a new controller. Yeah. It's a bit frustrating to use, so I think I'm probably going to get rid of it. Got it for my birthday last year. I should have known. It's a third-party controller, so it's probably it was probably going to be crap anyway. You guys should have warned me. I didn't tell you guys in a vlog, so I guess that's my fault. Sorry. Not that I'm blaming you guys or anything. I'm kidding. Alright. I think that might be it. I'm gonna... I need to get you guys some more content. I haven't played Alice in, like, months. Because I've been so freaking stressed out. And that game is so freaking annoying. Or is getting annoying. It wasn't annoying before, but it's starting to get annoying. Freaking canyon crabs. The game is going to give me crabs, I swear to God. If I didn't live in Maryland, I would hate crabs after that game. But I love crabs. Not, not crabs, but, you know, 
crabs, picking crabs, crab cakes, yum, crab soup. Oh, I wonder what delicious crab soup those crabs would make. Mm. I'd love to steam those crabs up with some butter. That would be awesome. All right, anyway, I'm getting off topic. I'm starting now. I'm making now. I'm making, I'm making myself hungry. There's no seafood restaurants open this late at night. It's like one o'clock in the morning here. Crap. What have I done to myself? I should be thinking about Alice and delicious giant steamed crabs. Mmm. Steamed crabs. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> I need to stop and go to bed. I'm tired. Um. Yeah. So. <laughs> Comment, please. Um, give me some feedback. Uh, I would like to start doing Bioshock soon, so I guess I need to get on the Alice train and do Alice. As much as I loathe doing it, I need to finish Alice. I wonder how far I am in that game. I honestly have no idea. But I gotta get through it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Because I would like to start, you know, playing Bioshock. Because that would be fun. Pem's actually started playing Bioshock. Pem? Pem? You wanted me to play Bioshock. What the hell? And now you're playing Bioshock? What's the deal, man? What's the deal? What are you doing? Well, gee, now what? Now what do I play? <laughs> Pam. Oh, now you turn off. Pam, what are you doing, man? You're harshing my vibes, man. I'm going to do Bioshock next. I'll just go ahead and do it. I'll just go ahead and do it. Never mind you. I'm not that worried about being spoiled. I'll just watch your videos as I go. I'm not worried about being spoiled for anything. If anything, I'll find it being a help because I'm kind of crap at video games. I love playing them, but I'm kind of crap. I actually bought Costume Quest not long, like today. Those freaking button prompts kill me so bad. I almost lost a, one of my first fights because of those freaking button prompts. I hate button prompts. The only game I'm good at button prompts in is Final Fantasy XIII 2. And that's because I played it on easy. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I'm rambling because I'm tired. <sighs> I keep thinking of things to tell... I keep thinking of things to talk about. And if I keep doing that, I'm going to be sitting here talking for an hour. Alright. That's enough. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have to talk about more stuff another day. Alright. Bye, guys.